Welcome back to the channel, folks. Welcome back to the channel, Bo Biddle. Bo Biddle. Is that him on the tower? It could be him on that tower. Folks, as you can see, we are at Nashville Super Speedway. Big shout out to them. They are always letting us come out here and play. As you can see, we got some of our team over here messing around with the other vehicles. Really amazing facility out here. Nashville Super Speedway is open and open to us. Uh, they had the race out here already and uh, went really well from what I understand. So big shout out to them. Again, thank you Nashville Super Speedway for allowing us to come out. Moving on to what we're actually here for folks. There she blows. It's a 2021 LC 500. And this was given to us or letting us let us borrow by our friends at Auto Collection of Murfreesboro. Their info's on the screen. Hit them up if you want a vehicle like this or similar truck, car, SUV. They got it all, folks. So be sure to go to their website and check them out. Uh, well, let's get started. We'll do what we normally do. Start in the trunk, move our way forward. Again, this is a 2021 LC500 convertible. You don't see very many of these. This has a uh, naturally aspirated V8, just under 500 horsepower. I think it's like 475, 480, something like that. And man, this thing just sounds and acts very Lexus-like is the best way to put it. It's got a bunch of power, but it's not like a sports car. It doesn't drive like a sports car. It, it's kind of heavy, but like overall, it's a great GT Cruiser. So here's the key. It comes with what looks like a nice little leather pouch. Um, and uh, if you hold this, the rear trunk will open. And then now once it's open, I can go over and actually open it and boom, there's a Nashville Cars and Coffee bag. Not very much room in there. I'll clear the top is down and maybe there's a little bit more room when it's up. I'm not positive about that. I'm pretty sure this is the trunk. This is all the space that you get. It's got the cool little wind thing, but that won't stay on the car with the top up. So you have to apply it when it's in the convertible form. I think most of the people that drive this thing will definitely be using it as a convertible. Uh, but again, not a bunch of room in the rear. Um, just kind of show you some of the design cues. Really love the tail lights, the way this looks, um, the way the uh, lower balance here on the bumper comes up and over. You've got your dual exhaust. Really, really interesting kind of profile. I mean, clearly this car was made to be a coupe. So uh, when you make, when you put it into uh, when you put it into convertible mode, you're gonna have some styling cues that were definitely meant to have the coupe, but you know, uh, they just kind of made it work. Well, that's what a lot of these convertible car, these convertibles are doing is just minor, minor transformations to keep the look of the car. Um, this one's got this wonderful waterfall grill. So you can see it kind of comes out goes down and then in and then back out one definitely one of the cooler looking grills in the market headlights as well really awesome looking uh well let's get inside and see how she sounds uh, i'll do a quick start up i'll leave you guys back here so you can hear then i'll come right back and get you there we go quick start up a couple revs and i'll come grab the camera here and there you go folks so it does sound good kind of nascar-y really kind of cool all right let's make our way in door card love the look of this it, it's not textured though it looks like it's textured uh, it's really nice and soft feels really good plenty of storage in that general area there uh, there are rear seats I'm not really sure where they put them in here other than for insurance reasons but hey they're in here that's pretty cool these seats look really cool I love this design it's very much unique to the Lexus brand uh, and it's got the heated scarf or heated air cold air that comes through here that's pretty cool um, to make our way in here, folks, 
And I know since the top is down, we're kind of already in. But let me get this door closed. And we'll kind of show you. I want to show you the starting procedure again. Uh, so you can kind of check it out. So as she comes on, you can see both of these dashes kind of come alive, do a very Star Wars-y kind of thing, uh, and then go straight to what their normal functionalities are. Uh, really, really kind of cool. Definitely a big fan of it. Uh, the looks of it, uh, functionality-wise, I've never been a fan of this thing. Uh, this, you're supposed to be able to use this for multiple multitude of things. Again, I am not the biggest fan of this, but hey, uh, they tried something new, and sadly, it wasn't something that worked very well for the market, and they're kind of stuck with it until they decide to redo it. Um, so there's your, so it's not a touch screen uh, in the dash, uh, but as you look across, man, it just, everything looks cool. I love this door handle kind of built into this wave-like uh, door card. Really, really cool looking. It's got all of the uh, ventilation that goes across the top, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then here's your dash. In order to change the dash, you kind of turn this knob uh, back and forth so it'll change the look as you go. I like that white. That's pretty cool. That's Sport Plus. That's Sport. Sport Plus looks really cool. Uh, we'll just go ahead and give her a couple revs so y'all can see. Climb's pretty cool. Very interesting looking setup. This is very, honestly, Nissan 300ZX twin turbo kind of stuff with these knobs that, you know, the mid 90s uh, Z car had these knobs kind of coming down the dash. Honestly, it's one of the reasons that that car looks pretty modern even to this day. Um, so, uh, very basic steering wheel. It's nice, but it's very basic. Paddles are here. Uh, all of these buttons are real soft, but like you just, the longer you drive, you kind of expect this to wear off. Um, but you know, what are you going to do? It's, it's a lot of these times, I bet you, uh, if this sits in the sun a while and you can kind of see like these things will start fading away eventually. This car has only got a couple thousand miles. It is brand spanking new. Like I said, it's a 2021 model. Um, really kind of cool functional. So this is the, uh, this is where you lift that up and this is the, puts the top up and down. Uh, and then you've got this slides back, kind of presents your cup holder or you've got a single cup holder up here. Um, kind of interesting layout. Um, I don't really like that this thing is up. I have a feeling you accidentally would push that sucker forward. Um, kind of different for sure. And in, in the end, like you don't, I'm not going to sit here and pick this thing apart, but this car has got a bunch of, I guess, quirks and features that uh, are very interesting, <laughs> I guess is the best way to put it. Um, so we pop the hood, come up here, press this little button, and there's your V8. Now, folks, this is like the last natural aspirated V8 being put into uh, coupes and sedans. When everybody else has gone turbo, these guys have stuck with this V8 uh, for a long time. Again, just under 500 horsepower, revs out to almost, what, 8,500, 8,200, something of that nature. So it's a beast of a motor for what it is. Again, applaud Lexus for sticking with the natural aspiration because everybody else has moved away from it. Um, so you can see the engine really does run kind of straight down the center line. So it's got a bit of a portly front end. Uh, I do like how easy that was to close with one hand. That's kind of cool, but wow. So just as a kind of recap, it's not, it's more of a, an Uber uh, GT car. Uh, than it is a sports car. It's got decent power. It's definitely fun to drive. Um, and the sound and the feeling, like, it's a really cool car. You know, it's definitely not the LFA, but again, it's not priced like an LFA either. So, uh, and then probably this is more than likely Lexus's last big effort at a uh, two-door coupe sedan that is naturally aspirated, or sorry, two-door coupe indoor convertible that's naturally aspirated. So, really awesome ride. Um, I love the look of the wheels where they're kind of polished and black. So you've kind of got these black inserts that kind of go through here. It's pretty cool. Uh, again, it's, this is this car is not for everybody, um, but you know, 
there are plenty of folks out there that bought that SC430 uh, that would definitely have interest in something like this. So, so to you folks, here's your ride. Again, huge shout out to Nashville Super Speedway for having us out. Really appreciate those guys working with us. Uh, and as well as our friends at Auto Collection of Murfreesboro, their information's on the bottom of the screen. If you want a car like this or a truck or anything, these guys can get it for you. So hit them up for my man, Bo Biddle, which it's possible he's in that tower. I don't know, he could be there. I am Ben Barber and I'll see you guys in the next video.